I'm back. So today, you might be asking, did I get a new bike? No, I did not. It's my friend's bike. I'm still working on me. So you may be wondering, okay, what's been taking so long for you to be posting a video? It's already been like close to three months already. Well, what's been happening to me? It was the uh, well, it's fun out because I found out that I have not severe anxiety, but you could say a bit moderate, you could say. And so, what's happening to me is that I just have the lack to feel to do anything, really. I don't have that, um, what do you call it, support, I would, I would say. And so everything has just been like down on me. I can't even look at my bike at that time. Like I, I just about to put it back all back together and just just sell it. But I eventually learned how to break that habit. It sucks, but that's how it is. So that's what's been going on. I'm, I'm borrowing this bike. If you're wondering. Do I like it? Uh, not really. The, the seat doesn't exactly fit me in well. Let's do a first ride review on this. Well, first thing I noticed is it's, it is very comfortable. And this is a Rebel 500. So, well, of course, this is my friend's bike and it's been, of course, been wrecked as you can tell. But I can crash on. I've been working on it and taking care of it. So yeah, that's what's been going on with this bike, really. <laughs> now I don't. I the first thing I want to do with this bike is change the seat. Oh god, that seat! It, it's it is making me slip. I have that feeling that I'm gonna slip out of the seat. The ergonomics for comfort is amazing on this. Returning exactly, it's it works better when you're high. Why are you stopping? It works better when you're going higher speeds, but it's just at that low speed. And you're slow. It's just that low speed. It's basically when you try to turn, it's that it has a wide front tire. So it gets really annoying. Man, what's up? Who's going slow today? Power. Yeah, this is actually a nice commuter bike, but I just hate working on this because it's simply back to Honda. For you who doesn't understand, if you do work on your own bikes, you'll understand. But for those of you who take their shop, try to learn to work on your own bike, and you understand why I hate Honda so much. Compared to every other bike. Like, Jesus Christ, I see so many people like taking the bikes to the shop for a simple oil change or chain clean for that matter. It's like, dude, really? Well, at least it went for me. I don't care. Anyways, but yeah, turning it is actually really nice when you get to higher speed. It's at lower speed, it's just like kind of like a drag. Yeah, the, it feels lazy at lower speed. Higher speed is just perfectly fine. Now, braking power on this is okay, actually. The front brake jacket works pretty well. Power is moderately decent, actually, for a better single cylinder 500cc. Yeah, you only have one fucking brake light, dude. That's hanging out of your truck. Like, bruh. Anyways. But yeah, we're going to the mall to get some things. But overall, there's some, and also the foot pegs are okay. They're crumbable, but I'll also get something maybe a little different. I honestly do feel, I don't feel cramped at this at all. For me being five foot eight, I think, yeah, five foot, yeah, five foot eight. 
I honestly don't feel cramped in this actually. I feel more decent. I f I'm actually really comfortable on this. The only thing that bothers me a little bit is on the right side. You got the engine case. It gets kind of any way of the or your right foot. Other than that, there's nothing you can really do about that, I wouldn't say. But under that, change the seat. The handlebars are perfectly fine, actually. I like that. But of course, this has a little peanut tank. A very small tank, so going somewhere far isn't exactly ideal. So, yeah. So I would say this is good like a your regular commuter bike or a daily or like a um, around town bike. Oh, he didn't write to us. Now I'm still working on my FRI. And it's soon I'll get that finished. I'm just trying to uh, what I'm doing right now and I'm just um getting all the shims and everything and all of that measuring it all up all right now and that's what I'm doing so yeah that's about it really so let me see what else oh yeah these mirrors suck ass and I thought my bike was worse but no this is just about awful oh god bumps are uh meh it does not like the pumps because the suspension probably has so much less low tower. It doesn't have that, probably the suspension doesn't have that much of a travel, basically. Oh god, this is bumpy. Oh boy, it is shaky. <laughs> Of course, it is a single cylinder, so air, so everything does vibrate, but at least it's not as bad as a Harley. I can say that much. Wow, this is, this is so... The power on this is... Man. I'm so used to my bike. But this would be a good daily for me, actually. Well, actually, probably not, because it's just a simple... Just a simple fact for that tank is so small. You know, I do riding a lot, and that tank is gonna be a buzzkill for me. But, you know. And then, no, that what sucks about this bike is that there's not much aftermarket parts support for this bike. That's this thing that sucks. Like yeah, you get like like different air filters and and things like that. Really, braking actually pretty nice. Is this? Huh? Yeah, the shifter's been on this. I need to fix that. Of course, my friend did drop this bike like a million fucking times before.
I'm noticing your shifter is slightly bent, so I need to remount, refix that. Okay. It doesn't really bug me. It has to be a lot better once I fix it. Okay. But yeah. No, I'm just going to bend it back. Of course, my friend did put this, uh, the reason the bike's so loud because my friend put this, uh, cuff mid exhaust onto it. I'm not sure where we're going, honestly, from this point. That's my friend. You lead the way. Huh? You lead the way. I'm not sure where you want to park. Huh? Where are we going? That's hazards at least. Okay. What? We're going okay. Let's go on that entrance. You'll see it. There's a whole bunch of animals Yes, I know. I've been here before. So I'll follow you. Alright. I got the thing that sucks on this is that it doesn't have a um, it doesn't have a what do you call it temperature gauge. Man, this shit that needs to be fixed. Oh shit! What was that? Oh fuck! <laughs> I I saw something. I felt something tugging the shit. The fucking Sprocky got it. <laughs> Let's get a little bit. Hell, I thought he did something stupid. <laughs> the Sprocky caught on this. So go to south. Don't have any hanging on your backpack. Cause that shit will tug it. <laughs> God, that shifter's awful. But well, it just need to be bent back. Right now I gotta find them. <laughs> you know what? You lead. You lead. So, like, oh, let's go to Reforce. Here I am. <laughs> Just pick a fucking spot. Oh my god. Hell, there's even Pacific motorcycle spots over here. Oh my god, Amy. You're like, I was like, there's a parking spot. Two parking. Oh, never mind. Yeah, there's. Oh, they're up 
For reserve, yeah. And you know we have parking, motorcycle parking spots specifically, right? Yeah, we do on the other side. Yeah. Okay. But then we'd have to walk driver to get here. That's true. So yep. Yeah, there's a couple of things. So, one, your shifter needs to be bent back a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Your seat, I don't like that, personally. <laughs> because I feel like I'm always, like, sliding off of it. I think so, you know. It's like with you on the back. 